team. Today's vlog is a little bit different to what we're used to. And today is all about breaking outside of comfort zones. Something that I'm not very good at doing, but I want to get better at it. This has been a long time coming. Been meaning to do this for months and months and months, but because it's very weather dependent, it's been cancelled three times. I was hoping there was gonna be a fourth text last night. No, you <laughs> weren't. Don't give me that. But it looks like it's happened today, team. So are you ready? Sam's gonna be skydiving out of an aeroplane. Are you ready for this? Why are you doing this to me? Because you're gonna love it. I've done it before and it's absolutely amazing. The thrill, the buzz is just incredible. Any of you guys who have done it before will know exactly what I'm talking about. The nerves are there going up the plane, don't get me wrong, but that fall in, once the parachute opens, there is not a better feeling in this world. You honestly are gonna love it, babe. So just to put into context, Chris actually booked this for my 30th birthday back in the early May. I knew nothing about it. I was meant to be doing it apparently the day after my party. All my family and his family were going to be yeah. there. Watch me jump out of a plane. I had no clue, but obviously weather and then I did my eye injury for those of you guys that have been around for a while. Yeah, yeah. Lots of different things have been putting it off. And um... So yeah, this is fourth time lucky. It's happening. We haven't had a text to say it's cancelled. So we are now heading down to Cornwall to the, get this woman to jump out of a plane. I don't know if I'm going to be thanking him or hating him forever. Either way, you're going to have the best, best time. I'm so scared. You'll be fine. Okay, you're coming along with the journey. My mum's coming with us today. She's driving us down there. Fletchy's coming. We're just getting ourselves ready. I'm trying to make sure I don't need to go for one last toilet before we leave and we're hitting the road. The journey down has been quite quiet. We're just trying to figure out, I think we're going up here now. Up straight. Just trying to get there. There is actually quite a bit of cloud in the air and it's actually started spitting with rain. So by the time we get there, by the time she gets suited up, it all would have blown over and she will be ready to jump out of the plane. That is some rain, isn't it? Oh. Uh oh, never mind, it's cancelled. <laughs> Just signing my life away. 21st of July, 2023. Sam put her man pants on. You put the date on there yet? Yeah, yeah, so it's happening today. Okay. I've just seen the size of the plane. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> just signed my life away, just paid for it all. Feeling good now? Have you shown them how small that plane is yet? Because that's way smaller than the plane you went in. It's not. I swear it is. I think so. I honestly think it is, but there's lots of blue sky around, so let's do it. So we've come back to the car, quick coffee, quick snack for Sam. She's actually eating before we go up in the plane. I think it's a good idea because we could actually be waiting around for a few hours because we've had rain this morning. Uh, there is quite a few people in front of us before Sam jumps, but blue sky is upon us now. So they should be getting the first few people out and then start the ball rolling one by one, getting these people to jump out of the plane and then it will be Sam's turn to go. <laughs> Start to feel real now. <laughs> We've just watched the first ones come down. Quite a smooth landing, actually. Absolutely fine, isn't it? Uh huh. What's there to worry about? Mm. Just that I don't like heights. For anyone that's been with us, you know I don't like heights. In our skiing video, I couldn't even ski down mountains because I get shaky legs. So when that door opens up there, I'm just gonna have to be singing my favorite song in my head. And then one, two, three, oh. <laughs> you got it, babe, you got it. Door will get opened by the cameraman. Um, your heart will start beating a little bit faster. <laughs> Try and keep breathing normally at that point. And not long after that, it's going to be time to go. If you're having to jump film, the cameraman's going to climb out, so he's hanging on the outside of the aircraft first. Guess what that means for you? You're hanging outside the aircraft. Probably not your favourite bit of the day. Hips forwards, 
head, knees, all the way back. So I've got a nice arch shape on the front. That is making you the little red bit of the shuttlecock. And that's what keeps you the right way up when you leave the aircraft. <laughs> and from that moment, you'll go from being terrified, I expect, to going, this is, I'm loving it. All debriefed, ready to go? Um, yeah. Don't really, I don't really have an awful lot to say, to be honest, team. Just taking it all in. Probably the quietest I've ever done. It's 25 past five and we're still here. Not jumped. I honestly think I'm on the last flight of the day. We got here at 12. You're up with all the professionals. And I'm... The worst part about today has been waiting in anticipation, seeing all the jumpers come and I've had to watch them all. But... You're ready for it now. The nerves have just settled in. I know I'm on that next plane. All the locals are turning up. The sun is slowly starting to make its way down for the day. And I might need to go and use the loo one last time. Wish me luck. Hey. <laughs> Hello, kid. It's starting to feel real. It's starting step to feel forward real. a minute, go forward. <laughs> okay, now step back into those two loops. Pick them up. Put your shoulders in. <laughs> Put your goggles around your neck for now. Don't need them on just yet. Okay. Get averted now. I'm shivering. I don't know if it's because I'm cold or I'm That's nervous. Definitely nervous. <laughs> I'm actually shivering. Oh god. You got this though, alright? Mm -hmm. You'll be fine. You're gonna love it. Okay. And then we'll be jumping on our own one day. Alright. We'll see. Let me just do this one first and then I'll let you know. That's it, she's off, she's in the plane. She is currently just about to hit the runway and take to the air. She was looking pretty nervous, but I'm sure she is gonna absolutely smash it. I cannot wait for her to experience it. It's gonna be such a thrill and yeah, she will love it. Awesome that was stuff. so awesome. Okay, ah. uh, you can stand up now. Right, oh my god, my god. Take your goggles off now as well. I'm so drunk. Yeah, make sure there's no stunt doubles under there. Ah. Right. How was that? That was so good. <laughs> Do it again? I would. Next time on your own? No. no. What? On my own. You trust this man more than yourself, yeah, eh? <laughs> here you go, big smile. Oh, Couple up here. <laughs> So happy 
need to be back on the ground though. <laughs> You're not. Did you see me flying? Did you see me flying? <laughs> Honest thoughts? It was so good. You loved it? Yeah. I love that. It felt sick coming down though. Did so you? tight on my boots. Yeah, I was going to throw up. <laughs> so good though. Yeah, I loved it. So, we're on our way back home now. I'm just having to have a sweet because I still feel really sick. I loved it though. I'm just terrible for motion sickness. I get travel sick in the back of a car. And that like last flying bit made me feel really ill. But, we're gonna skydive. Can't even eat that sweet. Feel that sick. Oh dear. I need to stop. Um. <sighs> Feeling sick is worse than being sick, isn't it? Is, yeah. Motion sickness. <sighs> I don't think I could live on a boat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not for us. <laughs> boat life's happening, guys. Don't worry. Sorry about that guys, I couldn't even string together a sentence when I got into that car. Yeah, I have felt pretty rough the whole way home, but I'm still on cloud nine. I'm so happy I did it. And do you know what? Like, I would really recommend that to anyone. Like, I had so much fear. I was so scared leading up to it. I just couldn't wait for it to get over. But I would go up there in a heartbeat again. Like, that free fall was just an out of body experience. It was not scary at all. I'm just so happy I stepped outside my comfort zone and realized just how amazing it was. The only downside obviously was I am a person that is quite sensitive to motion. And on the way down with that parachute, I just felt a bit sick. And my harness was so tight across my chest that I think that, that just, yeah, made me feel a bit, a bit ill. And then not only that, because we'd been waiting all day, I didn't get into the car till about half past six. So we'd got there at 12. We got straight in the car and we were driving straight away. Whereas I think if I just give myself like an hour just to chill and take it all in and come back down to earth again, literally, then I probably wouldn't have felt like I needed to pull over and be sick. But we're back at the van now. We've got our friends James and Dawn come in to join us tonight back in Tavistock. They're just passing on their way down to Cornwall and calling in. I think we're gonna get a bit of an Indian when I can actually stomach some food and spend the evening with them. But this is just a little mini vlog of coming along with us. Thank you so much, babe, for an incredible 30th birthday present. I probably wouldn't have done it unless Chris actually booked it for me. Um, We're onto the course now anyway, so it doesn't matter. Chris is like, always I saying her, he I wants asked us to do her if she will do the course. She hasn't said no. So, in my eyes, that's a positive. We'll see. You haven't outrightly said, no, babe, I'm not going to do it. So, for me, no. there's some room to work with there. Yeah. We could be literally like traveling around in our van just skydiving all across europe how epic would that be that'd be your dream wouldn't it that would be my literal like dream apart from the sailing boat as well we could sail to places and then skydive it. how cool would that be you guys saw my motion sickness yeah okay anyway <laughs> thank you so so much for tuning in to this week's video thank you guys appreciate you all so so much we hope you've enjoyed it and maybe inspired you guys to go out there and do something that scares you because it might just make you feel absolutely awesome. I love the way that we're ending this and I'm doing the dishes. Thank you so much, babe. <laughs> we'll see you next time. See ya!